Hi, and welcome to your middle school advanced accelerated math course for fifth graders. So to log into your course, you'll need to go to flvs.net. Up at the top, you're going to click login. You're going to click county virtual school. You'll use your username and password that you created when you registered for the course. Once you've done that, you'll see the course tile for your math course. You'll go ahead and click on that and it will redirect you to Educator, which is where your course is held. When you log into your course, you will see all of your teacher's information on the front. So you'll see the phone number that you are able to call, the phone number you can text, and their email address. Some other important things you'll see on the homepage, there are some help videos that we have created for you. Make sure you take a look at those. Um, they could help you with assignments, help you with navigation, help you with an overview of what the modules are about. Lots of great information in there. When the course gets going, we will update this. This is your collaboration and live lesson news. So you'll want to make sure you check in here. You'll find dates for your collaboration lessons, when you need to attend, all that good stuff. This one is your pacing guide. We'll talk about pacing guides in just a minute, but this is one way you can find your pacing guide. Once we start doing the live lessons, we will post the recordings here so that you can go back and watch them. And to enter one of the live lessons, you would click your virtual school or your virtual classroom icon. Now, some information here on the homepage. This just quick talks about um, if you need a password for an exam, you need to make sure you've done your DBA. If you have not done a DBA, you're not going to get the password for the exam. So you need to make sure you're doing and scheduling your DBAs. DBAs are discussion-based assessments. If you need to schedule a specific appointment, you can click here. It will take you to your teacher's sign-up calendar. So you can sign up for a specific appointment or again, you can call, text, or email and let them know you're ready to do it, and you can set up a time that way. Okay. To find your lessons, you're going to click the book across the top black bar. Obviously, we are starting in Module 1, and you would move your way down. You would start with the very first assignment, and again, work your way through. When you come into the lessons, it is very important that you read everything from top to bottom. Do not skip anything. There's lots and lots of information in here that if you don't read everything, you're going to miss something. Okay, we can see here that this particular lesson has two pages, so I'm going to click the arrow to get to the second page. Again, I'm going to read everything. These little caution cones are very important. Make sure you read what is in there so that you don't get locked out of a test or use your attempt before you're ready to use it. Then on the bottom of the last screen of the lesson, you will see what your assignment is for that particular lesson. This is why it's important to make sure you're reading through the entire lesson so that you don't miss what your assignment is. So it says, in the assessments area, complete 1.00 module one pretest. This is an auto graded assignment. You will get immediate feedback. That means it is multiple choice. Some of your assignments are multiple choice. Some of them have short answer. Some of them are something you need to create either in Word or a recording that you'll end up submitting. So this one is telling us to go to the assessment area. The assessment area is the second icon. So we're going to click there, scroll down, and if you have not done 1.00, it will show up as your first assignment. I've already gone in and kind of played with a couple, so you can see I've already submitted some things, so it's not here. It would be here if you had not done it yet. Okay, now once you've done an assignment, you're going to want to click into your grade book. You will see, see here's my 1.00. I'd already gone in and played with it and completed it. 
So it's telling me what my grade is for it. These assignments I've also done. Oh, but you can tell I didn't do very well on them and I wanna try and do them again. If it is an assignment, okay, not a pretest, not a segment exam, not a module test, an assignment, you can redo it to try and get a higher grade. So I'm not real happy with my 45%. I wanna try and get a higher grade. So in my gradebook, I'm gonna click on the title and you can see up here, it says reset the exam. If you would like to take this exam again, you can reset the exam and take it again. You are allowed to reset the exam one more time or two more times, depending on how many attempts you have left. So you would click the reset, type your reason, I wanna try for a higher grade, and then you would, once I type in there, that'll change colors, and it will delete the attempt you've already made and submit your new attempt, okay? So you would type higher grade, and I wanna confirm that I do want to delete my submission. If you get in here and you choose, oh, maybe I don't, I made a mistake, just click cancel. You don't want to delete that submission, okay? So we can click back the home button to come back here. I wanted to show you something in your lessons. When you get to the actual first lesson, okay, remember this is just an overview of the module and the pretest. When you get to the first lesson, you're going to want to, again, make sure you read everything. If there are interactive problems, make sure you work through those. That's practice for you. It tells you what you're going to learn about in the lesson. We can see here that this particular lesson has six pages. So we would click the arrow. Again, we see an interactive. We're going to read all the material. Anything that is hyperlinked, of course you can click on it. It pulls up more information. Sometimes you're able to print them depending on what it is. We can see the examples. We can click on these. We can open them. So you wanna make sure you're doing all of these wonderful things. Again, reading from top to bottom. Anything that's hyperlinked, remember we can click on. Anything that you're able to print out that's like note types of documents, you may wanna print them out. You can certainly use them during your DBAs and assignments. Okay, we've got some more examples that we can work through. Again, some more examples, some more practice. I see a caution cone, so I wanna make sure I'm reading what's in there. I see another interactive for me to do some more practicing. Here it says, if you need some more practice, go ahead and click there. Now I've hit the last page of my lesson. So again, I see my lesson objectives, what I learned about. I see a vocabulary review, a review for the entire lesson, and a review guide that you can print and use for notes. Okay, so you may wanna print this out, again, keeping it for your notes. You can go back and jot things on this, work out problems, so you have examples. Again, you can use this on your DBA or during your assignments. Now I've come to my actual assignment. Again, remember I'm on the last page of the lesson at the very bottom, it tells me what the assignment is. Go to the assessments area and complete 1.01 .01 adding and subtracting decimals. So again, I would come back up here to assessments and I would click on that particular assignment. Okay, so again, you wanna make sure you're reading everything. Now the pacing guide. This is a key component to online coursework. You don't necessarily have a teacher sitting in front of you each day saying this is what we're gonna work on today. So you need to make sure you are keeping up with your own pace. So remember on the home page you can find the pace or you can come in here to your main menu and click pace. 
you're going to come down here to pacing options you are in the advanced course and you are completing this course in 16 to 18 weeks so this is the pacing guide you're going to want to follow okay and it lays out the entire course for you to make sure you are finished by the deadline as you notice it is doing about one module every two weeks okay so if you kind of keep that in your head that every two weeks you need to complete one module you will be on a good pace and you will finish this course before the deadline okay now one thing i do want to let you know let me find where the first one shows up. There we go. In module two, you do have a module two test that you must take. Then you have a module two advanced test. You do need to make sure you are doing everything that says advanced. Okay, you are in the advanced portion of the course, so you do need to complete the assignments that say advanced, okay? And all of the advanced assignments need to have a 60% or higher on them. Okay, so you'll see here again, advanced. Some of the lessons will say advanced in them and they'll have an A next to them. You do need to make sure you are doing those as well, okay? So you can find your pacing guide in your main menu and click pace or from the home page. You can click pace off to the right hand side. Okay, but just keep in mind you do want to be doing about one module every two weeks. Now, the last thing I do want to show you is emailing through the course. If you have a question or if the teacher has emailed you, this is where you will do that from. So you'll click the little envelope. If you're composing a message, you're going to click new message write who you're going to send it to, give it a subject, question on lesson 1.07. In the message um, box type what it is, your question is, your comment, whatever it happens to be, you would hit send and it will send it to the person you, you are sending it off to. Now, if your teacher has sent you a message or if you have something sitting in here because an assignment was graded and some comments were left, you'll know you have an email waiting for you because up here you'll have a little number, okay? That'll indicate that you have something in here that needs to be read. So you'll wanna make sure you check your email every time you log into the course. All right, so good luck. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to your teacher.